Biomorph is a great game. It's not a super challenging game in terms of its combat difficulty, though there are difficult encounters in it, nor is it a massively difficult game to find all the secrets in thanks to the golden border function as well as the upgraded house which tells you how many of everything that you have got. And therefore it wasn't a particularly difficult map to put together but it wasn't the easiest map to figure out how to do because there are 21 different enemies that you can morph into in biomorph some of them have got combat abilities yeah but realistically you're not going to spend a lot of time in your biomorph forms for combat mostly they are used for traversal and for getting through certain types of obstacles and that was the challenge for me how do i represent those different obstacles on the map and the further and further into the game i got the more and more i came to realize that i had to make a decision either i was going to do what i have done here in terms of using the in-game map and putting stuff on it or I was going to have to do a composite map in the style of the way I did Carrion or Ender Lilies because the turns, it turns out that there are so many obstacles that are requiring very specific biomorphs to get through that there wasn't a way that I could in a reasonable chunk of time put all of the different obstacles on the map so i settled for what you see before you very very quick talk through of this because i know that my map videos tend to go on a little bit long if i'm not careful so each area in the game is color coded in the game anyway but what i've done is as well as adding the names of the areas i have added in what enemies are biomorphable in those zones so for example you've got the Toroth you've got the Aberor in the starter area you've got the Fubarang you've got the Scarbittle in the Mezzo Skyway and so on and so forth each area has got what unique enemies or what new enemies arguably are there because some of the the zones do have you know, other enemies in as well for example the Sentinel Complex also has Aberors in it and it just tells you what the enemies are and what they do. And then for the rest of the time, let's use the, the Muttler as an example, because the Muttler is able to, to dig through things. I've just put a little note in a few places as to, you know, this is how you get to this specific thing. Because otherwise, I would have had to figure out a way of best representing the room shape and the room size, which is something the, the kind of square or rectangular blocky nature of this particular map doesn't lend itself to very well so this was a compromise because april is an incredibly busy month and i didn't want to be spending the next two to three weeks of my life doing a composite map for this because it's a large game and i honestly think that that is the amount of time it would take to go through and and figure out first of all how i can actually screenshot and stitch together and if it's even possible i just don't have the time for that in april so arguably a little bit of a cop out on my part but it works regardless so as well as the biomorph notes on the names as well as on the map we've got a load of other stuff on here because there's a load of things to find Icons that have got green borders are key items or resources. So we've got the Laurentium, we've got the Logic Blocks, we've got the Raw Materials. We've also got all of the Scargatos, all 39 of them are marked on here. So you can find those if you are missing one or you want to kind of mainline that particular quest line. The Letter Tappers have got green pentagrams on them. Health Upgrades have got orange kind of diamondy shapes npcs are yellow circles the mementos that you can find are kind of yellowy hexagon style things i've tried as far as possible to differentiate all the icons so that you can see them 
at a glance if you've got things zoomed out but it's not very easy to do something like this and the more complicated metroidvania games are getting the harder i'm actually finding it to get the information on without reverting to some kind of old-fashioned key essentially in the way that we used to do maps 10 20 years ago where everything would be a grid and all of the items would be assigned a letter and you just get a key in the corner with a equals this b equals that i've always tried to avoid maps like that because i find them difficult to read but i also appreciate that and i'm getting feedback that the more information i put on some of my maps these days that also makes it harder to read i don't think there is a solution to this but hopefully what is here is of a size that is usable i've tried to make it so that if you fill your screen with a particular zone at a glance you can read everything and see everything in that zone some of the zones are a little bit too big for that to work you know you can't quite fit all of the sentinel complex on one screen zoomed in at 50 percent but most of them you can so i've tried to add on as much detail as i can all of the chests all of the collectibles the metroidvania powers the bosses the memento sockets fans are on here because fans were nice and quick and easy one to do because there's not a huge number of them as opposed to for example the the diggy blocks that the mutler gets to all of your blueprints are on here as well the weapons i've tried to give a really kind of obvious border so that you can see those at a glance locked doors are on here breakable walls or shortcuts are on here the save points and the fast travel points are obviously on here because they are on the original map that i've just copied anyway there are a few key codes or passcodes for doors where i've said you know this is where the things are for that the puzzle down in the badlands where you can get to will i do not know because i've only done one playthrough of the game so far i do not know if that code for the door changes but i have put an, put a note on for you know this is where you find the code i'm assuming that's not randomized we've also got in the bottom left hand corner all of the shop inventories including the different tiers of upgrades i didn't put on all of the icons for carmelina's workshop i'm sorry i didn't feel it was going to be worth it i do not know the exact numbers for the scargato return either so i don't know how many you need to find to get the raw materials to get the laurentium and so on and so forth i might see if i can kind of wangle that information out of the devs at some point likewise i do not know where is it here um i do not know if the ferox hurricane chip is after your first roll of the credits or if it's after the true ending or what because i got the true ending first information about the endings though is on there information about the biomorph epitaphs what they do and how to get them also on there everything that i could think of that would be useful is on this map the only other thing that i've put on here is the quest steps for the pay it forward quest this is very much a kind of trading chain style quest and i, I had to make notes on this as i was going so i figured i'd put that on for people as well thank you very much for watching enjoy biomorph i certainly did it is an excellent game i have been checking out the steam forums and the discord since i did my review and there were a few people that got some some niggles with the game there's a few bugs that people have ran into that i didn't that's just the nature of the video games in in 2024 and different computer setups and so on and so forth i still think it's an excellent game mm, some people think it's mid i hate that phrase some people think it's mediocre um you know the, the, everybody's got different tastes and as i think i said in my review you can't make a game that pleases all the people all the time i thought this was excellent i really enjoyed putting together the map is it super useful i don't know there's a lot of tools and quality of life in game to help you get through it without really needing a map but i had fun putting it together and at the end of the day that's what i make these maps for
I do it because I enjoy it and I like seeing how things fit together and I like seeing where things are and so on and so forth. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Stay fabulous. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.